this is Dana and I'm here to talk to you a little bit about early reading at Callington Primary School. We'll inform you more about this as your children begin school in September, but I just wanted to give you a little taster today. So after your children have settled into Red 1 and Red 2 and we begin our phonics sessions, we'll start to introduce your children to the letter sounds. For example, S would be known as S, A would be known as A. T would be known as T, okay? So as we begin to learn these letters, we'll start to be able to put them into simple CBC words. For example, I might have P, A, T, PAT. So we'll begin to read simple words like this. Your children will start to get some word cards coming home with them before we introduce them to formal reading books. So at the end of each week, your child will get a homework card book in their homework book ready to practice these sounds. So from the first week we'll be able to read words like pat, 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 sap, sap and then the following week when we've introduced a few more there'll be a more, more of a variety of words to read like nip and nap. You will also see on these word cards some word cards that are in red. These are to indicate to you our tricky words. There's lots of tricky words in our English language. These are words that don't sound out using phonics. These words your children will be practicing to learn on site to help them read. Once we've learnt these two groups of letter sounds, we will then be sending your child home with their very first reading book, along with their reading record. In these reading records, you can record down your book that you're reading with your child and any little comments you want to make. This will help us keep track of how much we've been reading at home and when we can change your child's book. So looking at these books inside, these are very useful because inside the front cover, the book often tells you the sounds to practice with your child before reading the book inside. So we can look in. We'll start by sounding out the words before we blend it together. So t, ip, tip, it it, it, in, in, and then we might go back over the sentence, tip it in, okay? So we'll do that gradually and your child will become more and more confident with reading and eventually they'll, <laughs> eventually they'll probably be reading some of these words on site. As the words get trickier and the sounds get trickier, you'll start to see there will be an indication of the tricky words that will appear in the book and these will become down at the bottom. So for example, in this book, we've got the tricky word two, which you will spot on some of the pages in the book. I just wanted to share with you a little fact. So if you were going to read with your child at home, if you were going to read a book every week, your child will get through this many books in the school year. However, if you were to read with your child three times a week, your child would get through this many books. Okay, so reading is ever so important. The more we read, the more confident we become. And just imagine if you read six times a week, that's two of these. Think how brilliant your child will become at reading. I hope you enjoy listening to how to read with your child at home and we'll inform you more when you start in September. Thank you.